Hey guys, it's Mike and welcome to That's Cool Vintage Collectibles. And today on the show, we're going to be talking about 45s. And these are some early blues 45s. I'm doing a big spring clean out here at my uh, collectibles room. And I think uh, just seeing what's in here and what's staying and what's leaving and things like that. But I thought uh, I'd start with some of these blues 45s just to see what's in here. So today's video is going to be all about early rock and blues 45s. We're kind of talking prior to 19, well, let's say 56, 57, but sort of uh, trying to keep it more of the R&B and blues uh, side of things and not so much the rock and roll side of things. So that's what's in this little stack. There's a couple of stacks I'll go through. Um, we're starting with Ella Fitzgerald crying in the rain on DECA with the nice original DECA sleeve. That's kind of cool. Next up is Memphis Mini, um, me and my chauffeur. And I'm not sure what this record's all about. It's some kind of promo because on the other side, we have Jesse Knight, Nothing But Money. And it's on the Checker record uh, label. Whoops, sorry, I hit the camera there. Uh, this is a... Um, uh, one of the Chess Records subsidiary labels, Checker. So I'm not sure if that's some sort of promo. I'll have to look into that a little bit. Uh, Kansas City on Fury Records by Wilbur Harrison. Of course, the Beatles did Kansas City on Beatles for Sale. Covered that song. Chess Records, Muddy Waters, Mean Mistreater. Uh, it's very hard for me to find original chess stuff in Canada, where I'm located, because every record that came in here that was a chess record label uh, ended up going out as what's known as a quality record, and quality records changed this label, so it's impossible for me to find these here. So I try to find them in the U.S. when I'm there, and that is a nice Muddy Waters chess record. B.B. King, Think It Over, and the B-side of this is I Don't Want You Cutting Off Your Hair. <laughs> That's great. B.B. King on the Blues Way record label. This is Buddy Guy, first time I met the blues on chess. Nice late 50s one. This one's a bit a uh, bit of an odd one. Um, John Lee Hooker on battle. Um, it's not in the best condition, this one. Um, it's got a little bit of flaws, but uh, pretty good. It plays all right. Uh, and John Lee Hooker, of course, recorded on so many different labels. It's sort of uh, nice to find some of these obscure ones that he's on. Uh, on Checker, this is My Babe, Little Walter. Great song, of course, Little Walter. Probably one of the best harmonica players of all time. And Muddy Waters harmonica player. Uh, just a great, great performer. That That is a cool record. Up next, John Lee Hooker, Boom Boom, on VJ. VJ out of Chicago. Great blues label. Uh, Spoonful on Chess by Howlin' Wolf. What a great track. And Howlin' Wolf just has such a menacing vocal on this just fantastic recording so that one's one of my favorites in here uh freddie king i'm tore down on federal eric clapton does a great cover of this song but you really can't beat freddie king fantastic uh vj boogie chill and john lee hooker i think that's the second pressing of that one if i'm not mistaken still 1950s but i, I don't remember uh, Evil, Muddy Waters. Now, this one's had some damage here on the label. Some sort of sticker or price tag was on there. But that is Muddy Waters on chess. And the last one in the pile, maybe the best one, we have Manish Boy, Chess Records. And that's the original chess where it had the silver on the top. And Muddy Waters, nice original chess records there. Okay, so the next stack of records is... More of the R&B and early electric guitar stuff. Um, some blues in here as well. But here is Ruth Brown. One of the most important songs ever written for the rock and roll era was Mama, He Treats Your Daughter Mean. And Ruth Brown had a big hit with this, but it's also one of the first tunes that really starts to sound like rock and roll and has a lot of the characteristics of rock and roll. So that's a big single. Another one that's in that same... Kind of vein is Shake, Rattle, and Roll. Uh, the Shout Blues guys, that's uh, Big Joe Turner. Uh, he was a uh, pretty spectacular vocalist. Here's Jimmy Reed, Bright Light, Big City. And uh, that is a nice early pressing of that one. Ivory Joe Hunter, Since I Met You, Baby. Uh, great piano player, Ivory Joe. And here's the guy that really launched a ton of 
50s and 60s guitar players in England. Ronnie, uh, sorry, Lonnie Donegan, Rock Island Line on the London Records label. This is a big deal one for sure, and uh, one that certainly was important in the uh, guitar craze of the 60s. Uh, there's the Sun Records. Uh, I believe that's a reissue, actually. Carl Perkins, Blue Suede Shoes. Bo Diddley by Bo Diddley. From the album Bo Diddley, actually, on Checker. That's kind of a nice old record as well. Another Lonnie Donegan tune. This is My Old Man's a Dust Man. Can't uh, really underestimate the power that Lonnie Donegan had on developing rock and roll. He was really one of the, the true pioneers for the British scene. Bill Haley's Rock Around the Clock, made famous from the movie Blackboard Jungle, which really helped to launch rock and roll. And one of the most prolific early rock and roll R&B artists, Fats Domino, Blueberry Hill. Uh, that one's a reissue. These are the, the regular Imperial labels, what they look like. I Hear You Knocking, Whole Lot of Lovin', and Walking to New Orleans. And there are some early sort of R&B, uh, early rock and roll records from my collection. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little look at some of the early 45s from my collection. Uh, just a quick video today. What I love 45s, there's something so... Uh, uniquely original to those and they really are um, a piece of history and a true artifact of a bygone time and it's pretty cool to, to sit back and listen and I'm out on the porch today at my uh, studio playing some 45 so it's pretty fun and uh, just enjoy kicking back to some tunes that uh, haven't been spun in a long time so uh, play some 45s it's a lot of fun I'm going to be showing more of those as I go through I've got boxes and boxes but I'm just trying to sort them into genres and maybe I'll do a video on how I sort those just so uh, the collectors out there you know you can see how everybody else sorts their material and how they're uh, filing theirs away uh, but I try to do it by genre and this is uh, 45s I've dug out so far that are sort of pre-rock and roll and fall into that uh, rhythm and blues blues category and uh, you know it's one of my favorite eras of electric music so hope you enjoyed that uh, give us a like and subscribe keep on collecting and rock on